Hey guys, are you a first time home buyer trying to get into real estate and buy your first house, but you don't really want to make any of the mistakes that you've heard other people making? I know that it's a seller's market, so a lot of uh, buyers could be intimidated by that, but I don't think that's any reason to really back down if you are in a position to buy a house. So my name is Nicholas DeLeon, and today we're going to talk about some first time home buyer tips. The first thing that you need to know is your mortgages and programs. There are plenty of different mortgages out there and programs for down payment assistance. Um, it's important to really know your options so you can weigh which ones are better for you, which ones don't work for you, and that way you can really take advantage of what's out there and get the best deal for your house. Now depending on your situation, there are definitely options no matter what your situation is um, there are down payment assistance programs so that you only pay closing costs you don't have to put the down payment or if you could put a down payment there is a first time home buyers association loan fha loan which only requires that you put 3.5 percent of the house's value down as a down payment there's also va loans for veterans if you are a veteran or if you um, maybe are married to one or related to one definitely using a VA loan would be beneficial because they don't require a down payment at least in Florida and then if you're buying a house that you know might need some work there are also some renovation loans that you can apply for some reno loans rehab loans that type of thing to help cover those costs the second thing that you need to know going into buying your first house is do not be too specific about what area you want to be in. Yes, there are plenty of houses out in the market right now, but as long as you're not extremely specific, then real estate agents can find you a good property. So if you're too specific and there aren't any listed then we would probably talk to you about expanding your horizons a little bit, try to find you a house in a similar location or at least close by, but not exactly in that location that you gave us because some people are too specific and there's nothing on the market for them, but they also have a time limit and so they need to get a place fast. And so that just makes it stressful on the agent and the buyer as well. So definitely be open to expanding your area. Something else that you need to know is what you like and what you don't like. When working with an agent, it's important to tell us what you like in a house and what you don't like. Like, oh, I like marble floors. Oh, I like the stack rock fireplace. Um, if you tell us what you like and what you don't like, then we can really use that to find houses that would work for you. We try and look for the houses that have the most things that you like and the least things that you don't like. And that kind of relates to the next point, the fourth thing that you need to know is that you can always renovate. It is important to know that, yes, we will try and look for all of your likes and none of your dislikes, but if there is one dislike in there or two, you can always change it. Once you buy it, the house is yours, you can make it your own, and you can really do whatever you want. And if you are struggling to really find the money for that, you can try and apply for a renovation loan or if it's been a year since you bought the house and now you want to change something you can always look to get your house refinanced and so for those who don't know what refinancing is that is basically when someone comes out to appraise the home again to see if the value has gone up since you bought it and then if it has gone up they give you that difference and add it on to your mortgage so your mortgage payment might go up a little bit. I don't think a house's value would really skyrocket in one year, but that little bit, you could use it to renovate and then you'll just pay it off in the mortgage. Um, and then the last thing that you need to know, number five is ask questions. Agents, lenders, transaction coordinators, whoever you're talking to in this home buying process, they should be keyword should, should be more than willing to explain the process to you and answer any questions that you have and really take the time to walk you through it. 
if they are brushing you off and don't really give you an answer that you like, then you can always turn to the internet. You know, everyone looks up everything on the internet. You can find your answers on the internet. You can ask other agents or lenders that you know, or worse come to worst, if they're really not treating you right, then you can try and switch agents or switch lenders and get a similar loan from a different lender. Um, agents typically have connections to multiple different lenders, so if you need a new lender, they could probably recommend one to you. There are a million and one agents out there, so if your agent isn't treating you right, then go ahead and find another one. Um, we know that we could get dropped in a moment, that's why we have to treat you right. And you deserve to be treated right, especially if you're a first time home buyer. This is really the biggest purchase of your life. And so, agents that don't really understand that don't feel bad about dropping them because they know that it's tough out here and you have to um, really be patient with your clients. So, definitely don't feel bad if you have to drop an agent and switch. Um, these are the home buying tips that I have for you guys. If you have any more, please drop them in the comments. Or if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. Let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.